Hey guys, what if B5 is the secret to clear, glowing, radiant skin? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up on this video. It really helps my videos out a lot. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests over the years to please talk about panthothenic acid, AKA vitamin B5, for clear, radiant, and glowing skin. Is it helpful? Is it something that can clear up acne and should we be taking it? First of all, what is panthothenic acid or B5? It is a B vitamin. You probably are aware of the fact that there are a ton of vitamins that we get from our diet and are critical to our life. <laughs> and B vitamins, there, there are eight of them uh, for which uh, B5 is one. B5 plays an important role specifically in the conversion of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats into energy. And specifically, it is responsible for increases in something called coenzyme A, which is really important for a variety of biochemical processes throughout the body. Panthothenic acid is really important for the health of your skin. It plays a key role in epidermal barrier function, and it also helps in regulation of oiliness, AKA sebum, which plays a major role of course in acne. So if you've got excessively oily skin, you're more prone to breakouts. Logic follows that panthothenic acid is something that's important, at least in your diet, for helping that out. To be clear, deficiency in panthothenic acid is incredibly rare. We get it from our diet and yeah, it's very rare to be deficient in this B vitamin. Um, however, given its vital role in epidermal cell turnover, inflammation, and oiliness, it's thought that perhaps people with acne may have a lower level of panthothenic acid and would perhaps benefit from supplementation with B5 or panthothenic acid. Is there any truth to this? Well, there's actually a study that examined taking panthothenic acid for acne and for clearing up acne lesions. This study was a randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled trial uh, that took adults with acne and either gave them a placebo pill that had nothing in it or a pill that had panthothenic acid in it. And at the end of the 12-week study, they demonstrated a pretty notable reduction in the number of acne lesions with the panthothenic acid supplement. So that's compelling, it's interesting, and importantly, Throughout the study, there were no adverse effects attributed to the supplement um, and people tolerated it well and they were happy because their skin was getting clear. In comparison to those who were receiving the placebo pill, they did not appreciate this improvement in their acne. They didn't get clearer skin from the placebo. Uh, so the, the treatment group, those that got the supplement, they were a lot happier at the end of the study and objectively, they had fewer acne lesions than when they started. Panthothenic acid is safe. Like all B vitamins, it's water soluble. So what that means is that uh, if your body doesn't really need it, you're gonna pee it out. So you may notice if you take a B supplement, a B vitamin supplement, that you have like a really bright yellow pee. Your urine is, is bright yellow. Yeah, it's just because you're, you're peeing it out. It's water soluble. Um, it has decent bioavailability when you take panthothenic acid. Somewhere between 40 to 60% will actually be absorbed. <laughs> So in this study, it looks as though the supplement they were given helped give them clear skin. I mean, it's pretty notable. Uh, panthothenic acid, it uh, increases levels of coenzyme A, which is important for uh, reducing oiliness and oil control, and it's anti-inflammatory. And part of acne that people don't really always realize is that the skin barrier, there's, there's an impaired skin barrier. You're more prone actually, if you have acne or a tendency towards acne, you're more prone to lose water out of the skin for the skin to become easily irritated. And if you have low, you know, in theory, if you have low levels of panthothenic acid, that uh, might contribute to a, an increased irritability of the skin and more breakouts down the road. So those are theoretical mechanisms by which panthothenic acid might help give you clear radiant skin. However, there are a few problems that I should point out with the way that these studies were done. First of all, very short period of time, 12 weeks. I know, you know, for teenagers with acne, that seems like a lifetime. Obviously you want it to clear up fast, but 12 weeks is pretty short. So we don't really have a good understanding of the long-term ramifications. How, you know, how long do you have to take it? 
Um, you have to take it indefinitely. Is it safe to take it indefinitely? What are the long-term potential adverse effects? As I said, pantothenic acid is pretty safe and you mostly just pee out what you don't you know, absorb. Uh, however, you know, we, don't, we don't really know. Like, might, might it interfere with other medications? Hard to say. Uh, so there's that. The study was pretty small too, not a ton of people. I think it was somewhere around 50. And one thing that I noticed is that there were very few men in this study. Um, doesn't surprise me that, you know, they're looking at adults and men, males, they tend to, once they, once they reach adulthood, acne doesn't, you know, typically is no longer a problem. It tends to affect women throughout adulthood. So that, that's not surprising. But my point is, if you're a teenager or a young person, a young male with acne, um, I want, I just question, would this be as beneficial given that there are so few male participants? The elephant in the room though with this study is that it's not designed actually to test if panthothenic acid is beneficial for acne. Instead, it tests is the supplement panthothen beneficial for acne? And that's what they show, not panthothenic acid specifically. And you're like, what the heck is she talking about? Well, this trademark supplement is more than just panthothenic acid. It's got panthothenic acid, and it also has all the other B vitamins. It has thymine, 1.5 milligrams, riboflavin, 1.7 milligrams, niacin, 20 milligrams, B6, two milligrams, folate, 400 micrograms, uh, B12 in the form of cy cyanocobalamin. <laughs> I always have a hard time spitting that out. Six micrograms and biotin, another B vitamin at 300 micrograms. Plus it has L-carnitine in the supplement at 733.3 milligrams. So there are a few other players going on. Now I mentioned that the study was placebo control, um, but the placebo pill didn't have anything in it. it you know, it didn't have any, any of these other ingredients. So the study doesn't test uh, the outcome of panthothenic acid supplementation specifically, it addresses, it's, it tests the outcome of panthothen, this trademark supplement uh, in acne. Uh, and that's important because we already know that like some of these B vitamins, like niacin, it's anti-inflammatory. So how do we know that that's not what's helping the acne? Also, the L-carnitine has been shown, at least in lab-based studies, to have a SIBO-suppressive effect. So that could be really what is doing the work. The other interesting thing that I'll point out is that we've observed that supplementation with high doses of certain B vitamins is associated actually with worsening acne. For example, biotin uh, supplements have been reported to worsen acne, and it's thought, oddly enough, that the reason this might happen is that biotin competes with panthothenic acid as far as absorption, and so maybe people who over supplement with biotin, they don't absorb as much of the of the panthothenic acid from their diet, so they get you know a little bit of a low level. But this product has biotin in it, at 300 micrograms. And again, remember I told you they're only looking at 12 weeks. So I question you know if the if the users continue to take this without biotin, maybe it start interfering with some of the benefit. We don't know. Um, and then the other issue, of course, with biotin is that it actually can interfere with the accuracy of certain blood tests, uh, namely tests that are run in the setting of uh, determining if you're having a heart attack. So obviously throughout this 12 week study, nobody's having a heart attack. Um, but you know, say, say later on you develop some kind of a problem, you need testing, uh, and you know, go to your doctor and get, get blood work done, maybe that supplement might actually interfere with the accuracy. So that's something to consider for sure. And then the other thing, we've also appreciate a worsening of acne with high doses of B12. Um, and it's thought that B12 supplements might actually interfere with the gene expression of Cutibacterium acne, it's that little bacteria that lives in the pore and is responsible in part for acne. Um, now I will point out that um, most of the data suggests the data suggesting that is with methylcobalamin, um, a different form of B12 that is more readily absorbed. In the panthothen supplement, you've got cyanocobalamin, so less absorbed in comparison to to methyl, but still, you know, something to take into account. Maybe you're just not going to capture these things in a 12-week study. 
I can't really tell you guys if panthothenic acid supplements are the key to clear skin because this study just doesn't really address that. It, it, it tests, is panthothen the trademark supplement that has more than just panthothenic acid in it? Is that the key to clear skin? After 12 weeks, uh, the, the participants had fewer acne lesions, clearer skin after 12 weeks. Uh, but is that the secret long-term to clear skin? Mm, big unknown there. Potential long-term adverse effects of taking this supplement, big unknown. Although overall, it likely is safe. Uh, again, your body handles excess B vitamins pretty well, uh, excretes them through the urine. Panthothenic acid is abundant in many foods that you can incorporate into your diet. It's present in eggs, it's present in meat, it's high in lentils, shiitake mushroom, avocado is packed with panthothenic acid as is cabbage and sweet potato and broccoli, one of my favorite vegetables. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you can just make sure that you're eating a balanced diet. You are very likely to be getting these uh, B vitamins in more than adequate amounts. Uh, you know, unless you have a confirmed deficiency or insufficiency, then just taking a supplement uh, you're likely, in my opinion, just peeing out the peeing out the panthothenic acid. So in my opinion, it's much better to get this from your diet, from actual food sources, and it's pretty easy to do so. Again, it's very unlikely that you're deficient in B5. Uh, maybe, perhaps, some people have slightly low levels, and that makes them more likely to have worse acne. But try incorporating some of these foods into your diet on a consistent basis, on a regular basis, and you know that might help. Not to mention these foods have other beneficial compounds in them. Like for example, avocado is rich in um, healthy fats that are helpful for the moisture barrier and for healthy shiny skin and hair. Uh, you know, sweet potato has carotenoids in it, which help your skin handle inflammation better and fight off free radical damage better. Um, and, uh, you know, lentils are packed with minerals. Broccoli actually can help uh, through a complicated mechanism. It actually can help uh, boost up your skin's uh, antioxidants, uh, namely glutathione. You guys, there's no quick solution to get clear, radiant skin. Uh, there's no pill that's going to deliver results uh, or anything like that. But having a balanced diet that includes a diverse array of whole foods is going to help your skin long term. It's not necessarily going to guarantee the, you know, acne control or anything like that, but it will help your skin health overall by ensuring adequate levels of vi essential vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fatty acids, things that are really important for the moisture barrier, for control of inflammation, for reduction of oxidative stress, and for controlling skin cell turnover and oiliness. So that, that is it, you know, you don't, I wouldn't say chase after a supplement, but overall this supplement seems to be pretty safe and unlikely to cause harm. Uh, I would definitely like to see more studies, however. <laughs> Comment below if you have taken this supplement for your acne. Did you appreciate any skin benefit? Yeah, the reviews on Amazon are glowing, but hey, if you made it this far, if I can teach you anything, it's don't, don't trust reviews online. <laughs> they are always biased and you're never gonna get your answer from reading reviews, uh, truth be told. They are, they are riddled with misinformation and bias. <laughs> And a lot of times they are financially incentivized to leave those reviews. Yeah, be always be cautious interpreting uh, consumer reviews. There are so many unknowns that you as a consumer will never have. But that's what I can tell you guys about uh, B5 for clear skin. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.